Phoenix typewriter here. I know when you see this typewriter in this case or the case you don't really see the typewriter but you know you got something good. It's a Smith Corona manual or electric in this case it says right on the case that it's a classic 12 so that's a manual. Sometimes it doesn't have a label here but when it's on one of these Samsonite cases it's a heavy duty latch you know it's a good machine and inside sure enough we got a beauty look at that that classic 12 that's a nice machine so first thing to pop it out of the case on these particular models is there's a button right here and it actually says well sometimes this label is missing this says push tab up to release machine but a lot of times that that goes missing so you just push this bottom piece up here and uh, like that just squeeze it up in this little tab will come up when the case closes it automatically pushes this tab back down and locks the machine into place otherwise you got to push it up it's just a manual button but when you close it it itself pushes it down open it up you just got to push it up when you push it up it releases the latches in the front here and lets the machine come out otherwise when it's down like that it's locked it's locked into place like that so let it come up take the machine out of the typewriter case and it's just got it back pivots into this notch in the back it's got a little notch there and of course this is packed with skill no made with skill packed with skill there we go all right this case was made uh, by Samsonite very heavy duty dust proof rim all metal design proven the test of time but inside we have a classic 12 manual and uh, this particular machine had very low miles great condition but it still had problems from 40 years of sitting around it was sticky the keys were sticking down here there's a where they come to a rest they, they have to be cleaned so they move freely here just like that just when you first touch them they move freely I don't need those to be sticking well, this has all been reworked space parts been reworked these have a tendency to get sticky too that's all fixed feet are all good on this guy excellent shape I would uh, take this bottom panel off but it's probably not necessary this machine of course has a retractable lid pulls back you can't lose it pulls back it's very heavy duty you can lift the machine up by this lid if you if you handle it right very heavy duty of course it takes just the uh, standard two spool ribbon here again another favorite because it's just a standard style ribbon it does have changeable type styles that's what these little red guys are here but we just have the standard number one and plus equal on this one so and uh, very basic typewriter margins are real easy right margin left margin come over here it rings a bell got a very strong bell most of these later Smith Coronas have a really good bell this lever is just paper release pretty standard on that side of the typewriter pull the paper in and out and position it if needed paper bail holds the paper down a couple paper bail rollers roll along here it's got a little handle here these are the carriage release handles back here you just hold the knob and you can release the carriage same thing on this side pull that knob hold the carriage you can position it anywhere you want over here line spacing same thing they're usually always over here by the, the arm you can go up one two or three spaces got a paper guide here so when you put your 
of paper in. You can put it up against that guide and get it in there the same way each time. If that's what you want to do. <clears throat> or on this side, it's also got a variable release inside of this knob here. There's a button right there. It pushes in and pulls out. When it pulls out, it moves this roller freely. It's not letting this chrome ratchet turn. When it's in, the chrome ratchet turns and makes a clicking sound. So if you need to line something up closely, you can pull it out and turn it slowly or wherever you want and then push this back in and away you go. It does also have a little lever right here that releases the clicks of that ratchet. That ratchet still turns, but it doesn't click. And so there's two ways to get rid of that ratchet sound or adjust the paper up and down. So, And then, of course, the carriage arm, when you turn, it, it brings the paper up and returns the machine. Pretty nice. <clears throat> On the keyboard here, we got... This LMH is light, medium, heavy. That's for extra how hard it is to push the key down. So you think you'd want it easy to push down on light. It's true, but if it's on heavy, it's not much of a difference. But what it does, in theory, is when the type bar comes up right there, if it's on heavy, it makes the type bar come back faster. And so you can technically type faster. That's just a, you can just try it any way you want. This particular machine, Classic 12, has half space. It's a funky little feature that only makes the machine space a half a space instead of a full space like this with the space bar. It just goes to half space and holds, release, hold, release. You can manipulate some characters with that and of course this side's got the tab set and clear over here and tab is right here some of the Smith Corona's the tabs are up here but this uh, particular model they put them over here on the side they all work the same way so when the tab's got a stops along the way let's see if there's any in here one two three stops four so we can clear these by holding clear, pushing the carriage back, and now it's going to shoot all the way over. If we want to put a column in right here, hit set. We're going to put another stop column right here, set. Maybe another one right here, set. Now it's going to stop at those spots. One, two, three. When I hit tab. One, two, three. Okay. That's a quick tutorial on how a manual classic typewriter works. Classic 12. 12 means it's got a 12 inch carriage on this machine. Which is up here in a 12 inch carriage. So this is a 8 by 11. Yep. I don't have an 8 by 11 sheet of paper handy. 8 inches there, be 12 inches across, so it would take a piece of paper sideways too. Alright, let's take a look and see how this guy types. Because it's uh, been working pretty good here. Pretty nice, except I hit the 9 instead of an O. Let's try it again. Pretty nice. Alright, that's our quick video of a Smith Corona Classic 12 that we had just recently reconditioned and is going to be sold.
these are great machines overall. These are probably one of the best bulletproof style manuals that there is. And uh, have a great day.